I'm your host of the Most Local 23. Joining me for Perfect Match Chapter 3. Remember, player discretion advised, violence may happen. In your hotel room, you and your friends discuss your plan to breach Iris' Tokyo headquarters. Spread a blue print across the table and point to a particular area. Remy is scheduled to deliver his supplies tonight. So everybody aside from Nadia will be arriving inside the delivery truck. <laughs> You'll be in charge of holding down our Tokyo Fort, girl. We'll leave you with plenty of treats. The Emperor turns twice in her place and then howls happily. Oh. I'll be stationed at the south exit, right over here. She marks one of the doors with a pink highlighter. Uh, it's close to the kitchen, most likely where they throw out the garbage. What's going to happen if we have dames and Damien? Are they going to talk to one another? Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Would you like some bourbon or whiskey? And if I've passed out from the stench by the time you guys come out, please give me CPR. I've got you, Drama Queen. Question. Why are we leaving in the van instead of just using Remy's delivery truck again? Because he's already agreed to help us get in. After that, we're on our own. Perfect match, too. Doppelganger. When Eros questions Rami, he'll wash his hands clean of the incident. He'll say that we hijacked his truck on the way to headquarters, and that's the extent of our contact with his crew. That's fair. We are strangers to him. That's just rude. How can we trust him if he's willing to turn us in? Eh, that's fair. Not everyone would see it that way. I know a few people in this room who didn't when they first met. Jab heard and received. I still don't like you either. Hit me with the cold, hard truth any time. Okay, well, you sometimes use too much chapstick, and it makes your lips look like a disco ball. Also, no matter how many excuses you whip up, I still think you're a terrible cook. How dare you, sir? It wasn't an invitation. Names and Nadia laugh as they exchange high fives. Once we're inside the loading dock, we need to locate their control room to find Damien's cell. I'll guide you through the perimeters using these. Sloan hands the earpieces to you, Alana, and Dames. Ooh, that's so cool! I'll stay with Sloan to keep her safe. I'm sure I'll be in good hands. Damn straight. I'll be sure to put the cameras on loop. Disable the locks on anything you need to access to. Lana unzips a black bag on the couch and reveals two tranquilizer guns. A little good luck present from Remy. If the bad guys are giving us gifts, does that mean we're also bad guys? Lana tosses the gun to Dames, who catches it smoothly midair. Know how to use one of these? Uh, Trank gun? I prefer hand-to-hand -hand combat, but this will definitely keep the noise level under control. Ammo's limited, so don't miss. Best shooter in the precinct, don't forget. Yes, during paintball simulations. Well... If anyone gets in our way, we can just punch them. Yay, punching. You guys get all the fun, and I only get to hit bad guys when they're matches. Don't worry. There will be plenty of action to go around. Q70's porn music? Question mark? A lot of glances at you from head to toe. Now, the only little problem left is that outfit. My outfit? Aren't there more important things? Uh, I'm gonna go with more important things. Every part of a plan is important, and though ours may not be foolproof, it's as good as any. But it certainly helps to dress for the occasion. I don't see you judging anyone else's outfit. Same shrugs, cradling his trank gun. I have police training in this bad boy. I'll be in the van. I got super strength. And I've got a bodyguard who's got super strength. 
Uh huh, unless a human being comes towards you and then you're screwed. Uh, did you guys rehearse this, or...? I picked this up from a contact on the way here. It'll help you move faster. It comes with this. So, a taser. What are we, Mary Jane Watson and Spider-Man? This outfit gives you an extra edge in combat and unlocks exclusive scenes. Well, it'll be useful if rescuing Damien. Okay. Hmm. The master of art. Cover operations in this classy, functional ensemble. And it's all fucking black. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yes, I do. You are literally giving out ninja dreams right now. Well, really sexy, Billy. Aiden approaches you, her hand subtly grazing your waist as she whispers near your ear. I might have to take it off you later. That smile sums it up. You walk around the room and stretch the outfit's materials, light, and apply it. You grab the taser from its holster. But really, this is what I wanted for... Gunning for. Pun intended. And don't hurt yourself, sweetheart. Now that that's sorted out, I call nap time. Ah, uh, Naughty is right. We should try to get as much sleep as we can before tonight. Outside the window of your room, Tokyo skyline remains bright, despite the late hour. I'm too jittery to sleep. You too? That's how I was this morning. And then I decided I was going to get some rest, and then someone turned off my bloody goddamn alarm, and then I overslept. Aiden's arm... I only wanted three hours, okay? Aiden's arm hangs loosely around your waist, and you feel her peaceful breath on your shoulder. You gently remove her hand and slide it off the bed. Ah, uh, hey, Billy. I thought we were going to have naughty time and she was going to undress us, but no! Pixelberry. Damien? Damien winces and your stomach twists with guilt. Ah, uh, afraid not. Uh, sorry, just... You surprised me, Zol. I didn't think anyone else was up. I don't understand the science behind this body. When this body feel, needs rest and when it doesn't, but I guess tonight it doesn't. Uh, same, to be honest. You realize he's holding a heap of wires in his hands. Absolutely, you try to untangle them. Uh, you know how Sloan feels about a messy workspace. I, I just wanted to help her out a little. Uh, dames, what's wrong? Uh, you mean besides everything? Well, yeah, besides that. Ah, uh, I know I'm not. I'm not the real thing. I'm not your Damien. He clenches his fists and finally meets in her eyes. But I am. I remember every moment of our friendship, of my job on the force, of growing up with my sisters. The details are hazy, but I feel them as if they really happen to me. I don't know my contacts' phone numbers, but I remember what I thought of them. I can't remember my mother's face, but I remember how much she cares about me. Sloan said they targeted your emotional memory over facts. I wish they'd stuck to facts. Wouldn't wouldn't I be more useful as a spy if I didn't care so much about you guys? Um. Hmm. This may not get out of here, but. Hmm. I know what you mean. This is painful. I can't imagine what it's like for you. But you're not alone. It's hard for me, too. And for all of us. You look, sound, and act just like him. Dame scraps a hand over his face, sniffing once and blinking hard. I'm committed to rescue our mission. Er, the miscue. <laughs> tied. tied. Rescue mission. Trust me, I'll give 100% to rescue the real Damien. But 
I feel like Damien, and I am Damien. His life is all I have. After tonight, that life will belong to someone else. I guess it's been like that since day one, but I just want to be myself again. Is there anything I can do to help? Dame says nothing, just shakes his head, rubs his forehead in frustration. I may not know what you're going through, but I hope you know that I'm here for you. I know. You do anything for Damien. And for you, Dames. You're part of our team. Ugh. Stop being nice to me. You're gonna make me cry even more. Um, who's crying? I don't see any crying. Just very stoic, manly handling of emotions. He laughs, a real, genuine smile on his face. Get some rest, Billy. I'll be fine. Oh, look, even in choices, they make crying a very unmanly thing. You head to your room, but turn around before leaving. You try to get some rest, too, okay? Big day and all. Yeah. Big day. Later that night, your group quietly rides the delivery truck bound for Eros's Tokyo office. You wave your hand in front of you, but you can't see a thing. In the silence, you suddenly hear a hoarse but melodious voice calling your name. You feel goosebumps over your body. Ooh, Billy! Ooh! What the? Hayden? No? Smack Hayden playfully. How mean! You deserve that. Hayden chuckles and holds your hand for a brief moment. The truck slows to a halt. You hear the sound of metal doors opening and guards giving directions. Everyone stay back until I tell you it's safe. You shield your eyes from the sudden bright light. You hear two darts whiz through the air, followed by heavy thuds. I'll scout the right. Gotcha. You, Sloan, and Hayden have barely moved a muscle when Alana reappear reappears with a smirk. All clear, munchkins. The three of you jump out of the truck one at a time. Dames talks and walkie-talkie nearby. Delivery from Mr. Fournier's here. We're cross-checking contents before sending it up. Copy that! You help Hayden tie the fallen guards up and drag them to the corner of the room. Hayden grabs the guards, taser, and Alana keeps the others. Let's keep moving. Welcome to this high-tech facility. You continue down the corridor with Sloan and Alana in the lead. After two sharp turns, you reach the control room. I love blueprints. I love black market traders and company moles. Sloan immediately gets to work with you, and Hayden guards her. Alana and Dame stand by the door that leads to the rest of the facility. Um, is it just me, or... Does this place look deserted? We're in the garage, not barreling through the double door entrance. Besides, the Arctic facility was likely their most secure, given what they used it for. Mmm... Gotta keep those prison cells and creepy experiments heavily guarded. If New York's for assigning clients for matches, what's this one for? Given the layout and shipments, maybe experiments with tech equipment? There seems to be an emphasis on hardware production. Still, this place gives me the creeps. Sloan's fingers tap rapidly against the keyboard. Found him! You and Hayden rush to her side. One of the monitors shows Damien lying awake on a bed in a small room. We're coming for you, Damien. How do you know that's the real Damien? Plot twist! You quickly hug Hayden and kiss her cheek. She smiles encouragingly. I'll see you soon, Billy. And what if that's not the real Hayden? What if it's... the evil version? Lana takes the lead and Dames covers the rear. You feel your... Damn it! Guys! of your wrench off your headsets because of the ringing feedback. I need to shout, Sloan. You're in our ears. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure you can hear me. Uh, we most definitely can. Okay, good. 
What was so fucking important then? Take a right at the end of this hall. There's an empty lab you can cut through. I'll get the door. You hear a silent click in front of you and easily turn the handle. Glasses, you're my new favorite. Oh, well, I'm um, honored. As soon as you close the door behind you, you hear heavy footsteps from the end of the hallway. The guards peer into the room from the window. You snap your finger to gain Alana and Dame's attention. You make a rapid padding motion, and three of you crouch at the same time. Your outfit blends perfectly, and the shadows and the guards pass by without another pause. Alana's is f***ing red, Dame's is brown, but because we're wearing black, we blend in. Quick thinking, Billy. Ninja Nadia would be proud. Ah, uh, thanks. You quietly continue past the strange equipment and broken down gadgets on the table. Guys, over here. Dame stands in front of a computer, staring at a video on pause. It shows Rowan, Cecile, and a young man in conversation. Dame presses play. I've set Nicholas personality to activist. I believe that was your result for this quiz. Yes, but... No harm will come to you. You have my word. He thinks you've gone on two dates and now he's visiting you at work. I'll be watching the monitors with our researchers, but do play long for the testing purposes. He said her on a date. You hear Sloan gasp in your earpiece. <gasps> Make a look green, he's the first match ever built. Alana minimizes the video. Hmm. was called Sirens Project Material Phase 1. Sound familiar? No, unfortunately. There are two videos available. The rest might not be clear for employees. Not just employees, researchers! I looked up Sirens, and all the files accesses are limited to Cecile, Rowan, and less than ten names. Alana clicks on the other video titled Cecile Contreras HR Video. Oh, I had a ninja sneeze. All right. Whew, muted that just in time. Are you referring to soul preservation, Miss Contreras? Dabbling with her mentality is a dangerous game. Danger stems from a lack of systemic resources, Mr. West. I find that rules become a fickle concept in the face of power. We know almost nothing about her. It'll be useful to understand her motives coming in heroes. And as for the other video, I'm terrified, but you're dying to know anyway. Me too. Ah, oh, look at that. Watch the interview. Watch the first match encounter. Watch both videos. Meh. I already bought the outfit. I think we shouldn't press our luck. If you're sure. Yeah, Damien's more important than any project. As you turn away from the terminal, your piece crackles. Damn it, Sloan. Damien cell is past the lab area. There are three guard stations, so be careful. As soon as you enter the holding area, Dames and Alana spring into action. Trank darts fly in multiple directions, but the guards evade them with surprising agility. The West Wing is under attack! We need backup! Let me guess, they're cyborgs. You hear Hayden's voice from the guards' walkie-talkie. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What the? Alana bashes her gun against the guard's head, silencing him. Ah. Another guard charges towards you with a taser at the ready. Attack the guard, defend myself. Not tonight. You use the back of your upper arm to halt her attack, then wrench her wrist back. Ah! Her taser falls with a clatter, and you continue to tug the guard's hand behind her back, leaving her chest exposed. Sweet dreams. Alana tases her, and she slumps onto the floor. In seconds, you lock eyes with Alana. Duck. You grab your taser from its holster. Fire! 
shoot past Alana, hitting another guard square in the upper chest. She grins at you, and you're now in quiet surroundings. Billy Park, you're something else. You bow ceremoniously, and she chuckles. Your taser came in handy. Now, let's go get Damien. Doors open, and with minutes to go, to spare. Great job, guys. I'll wait outside. He'll be confused and terrified enough as it is. Thank you, dames. You approach Damien's cell, your heart pounding from adrenaline and anticipation. Damien! Run to him, arms outstretched to grab him, and a crushing hug. My god, you're okay, I was so worried. Wrap him in your arms, but he doesn't react. He stands still, unmoving. Damien? Your touch makes me sick, Billy. I'm not falling for this again. Not ever again. Uh, what? Come on, get your speech about how you're not leaving without me, how much you missed me. Damien's voice grows more and more strained as he speaks. You step back as he searches your eyes. How sleepless, how, how sick you are with worry, not knowing if I'm alive. Uh, Damien, I... Your back brushes the wall, but Damien continues to corner you. Just get it over with. I'm sick of your stupid games. Alana steps into the cell and pushes Damien roughly by the shoulder. You register the momentary shock on his face. Enough with the dramatics, Damien. You're scaring him. We came for you. Now let's go. Eros must have done something to him. He doesn't believe it's us. You rack your brain for things only you and Damien would know. One said Eros couldn't copy details or facts, only impressions or feelings. I should... Hmm. Describe memories of you, him, and Nadia. You save a quarter throughout the week, so you can play the stupid song on Silver Wolf's Jukes box again and again, just to annoy Nadia. Remember when we begged the paperwork employees to release their leather embossed binders a day early? Because the street performer ghosted Nadia and she wouldn't leave her room. Damien's shoulders turned black. She approached him carefully. Stop. Not until you believe me, Damien, please. Moan passes in tense silence. He refuses to look at you or Alana. Sentimental anecdotes and useless trivia aren't going to break me. It's not useless trivia. They're pieces of who you are. Things heroes couldn't scan with their machines or program in a copy. They're you, Damien. Damien glowers at the camera overhead. You really don't know when to stop, do you? The only two people I've... He shakes his head with trembling fist. He slowly turns to your eyes, blazing with unrecognizable anger. Get out! Get out! You turn to Alana desperately, but... Her calculating eyes are locked on Damien's figure. Fine. We'll go. But... Alana nods towards the exit, trying to communicate something with her eyes. You hesitantly approach the door, but just as you're about to step out of the cell... Wait. You turn around to see Damien, taking careful steps towards you. Your chest tightens as he gets closer. You... You, 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 wa you walked away? You asked us to... You walked away. I... I really don't know what I'm supposed to say here. You're... You're listening to me. You... You, you listen to me. He steps into your space, standing close and letting himself study you. Slowly, recognition, hope, and relief floods his eyes. Billy? He nod, and his breath catches. Oh, God. He wraps his arms around you, and in a vice-like embrace, you hold on tightly as he shudders through the heavy breaths. You're here. You're... you're real. I tried to tell you. Amy laughs through his light sobs as he hugs you once again. Before you lose yourself in a moment, you hear Lana clear her throat. I gave you as much time as I could, but we really need to go. You're right. You're, you're right. Damien rushes to Alana and hugs her. She freezes before awkwardly patting his back. You don't have to do this. And you don't have to put yourself at risk, not for me. 
Thank you. A look of understanding passes between them as Damien lets her go. I'm glad you're okay. Aww. <laughs> um, why did you walk out? <laughs> and Damien collides with dames, their eyes widen with mere shock. Ah, uh, what the? I, I thought they might have sent someone in my place, but still. Ah, uh, this is, uh, painfully awkward, yeah. Dame shifts his trank gun from one hand to the other nervously. Ah, uh, well, but you're safe now. Everyone's missed you a lot. Uh, thank you. I, I mean, thank me? Uh, there will be time for proper introductions later. Dames and Lana lead the way. You and a thoroughly puzzled Damien walk quickly behind. Uh, where's everyone else? Where? I is Nadia okay? She's waiting in the van. We just have to rendezvous with Hayden and Sloane in the control room. Lana raises her hand and everyone stops abruptly. Quiet. Dames points at a door on his right, and you hear familiar voices arguing behind it. Sir, we're doing all we can to find him, but Mr. Muzavi has set up multiple false trails. I don't want to hear your excuses. We can't take matches to the next sticks without Khan. Khan! Who are they talking about? Who's Khan Musavi, and what kind of improvements are they talking about? Why him? It's not like they're shortage on programmer. Does this mean we have another bad guy to track? Why him? He's not just any programmer. Khan Musavi, he's... Sloane screams, and you hear a fight ensuing on the other end. Get your hands off of her! Uh, Baden, what's happening? How about less talking about it and get to the control room? Everyone breaks into a run towards the control room. You burst into the control room to see Hayden surrounded by fallen guards, but a remaining guard has his arm around her neck. He presses a taser against Hayden's skull. Oh. Hi, Steve. How are you? You looking well? Kinda like the black getup. It's not as cool as mine, but I still like it. Let Hayden go. Not a chance. If you take another step, I'll pull the trigger. Hayden can't take another taser hit. I don't think anyone could at point-blank temple range. Aiden holds on to Steve's arm, but doesn't struggle. Steve, snap out of it. I don't want to hurt you. What are you talking about? With a battle cry, Sloane grabs Hayden's taser and hits Steve's head with it from behind. He slides off Hayden and crashes to the floor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Room falls quiet as everyone stares at Sloane in surprise. Suddenly, Damien laughs beside you. <laughs> I've missed you guys. They must have repurposed him again. Back in the facility? I I can fix him, but first... Escape! Sloan rolls towards the monitor and types one last command. Sloan, what are you doing? That's what I'm assuming. Emergency. This is a fire alarm. Please proceed calmly towards the west exit. Sirens blast throughout the speakers accompanied by blinding lights. South exit, that way. Hayden hauls Steve over her shoulder and runs behind Sloan. So basically we're getting Steve for free instead of paying diamonds. Look at that! Everything happens for a reason. It's called the illusion of choice. Everyone follows suit. You, Alana, and Dames band together in the back. You're almost in the clear when you hear someone call your name. And here I thought we were going to meet in Paris. Alana and Dame squibble around and raise their guns and sink. I should have guessed you'd ignore my offer, Billy. I mean, we could have met under different circumstances, but no, you had to be evil. We don't walk away from friends or choose between them, but of course you wouldn't understand that. This could have gone 007 way, but no. Get them. The cider Harley steps out from the shadows and cocks her head to the side. Gladly. Harley leads a swarm of guards to pursue you. The three of you sprint to meet them. Oh, we're meeting them. The darts won't work on her. Good, because she's mine. Your feet dash lightly against the concrete as you and Harley run towards each other. Her face glows with cruel excitement. From the corners of your eyes, you see Dames and Alana fighting the rest of the guards. 
missed me that much. Oh, you have no idea. Harley swings her arm and you yank it down roughly. She card wheels and chuckles as you return to your combat stance. That was me using maybe 20% of my strength. Oh, baby, you use 100% and I want to see what you can do. I bought the Sinister Six. <laughs> I can take your ass on. Harley grabs you by the neck with blinding speed. Panic roils in your stomach as you pound your fist on her arm and shoulder. I should knee Harley? Elbow Harley. You can't really knee her if she's behind. So, elbow. You elbow her face and her grip loosens. Before Harley collects herself, you pry her fingers from your neck and duck. Grab the taser's limp coils. Dames, give me a boost. Behind Harley, Dames bends his knees with his with hands atop each other. Go. You step into his hands and he pushes you up. Your legs swing onto Harley's shoulders and lock in a seat. This is for Hayden. You strangle her with the wires and Harley's fingers desperately claw on the coils. You jump down in time for Dames to shoot Harley with his taser. Tremors run through her body before she passes out. You take off in a run, your companions joining you. Alana shoots you with a grin as Dames elbows you excitedly. You are amazing. Amazing, silly spider. I know. Hey, Harley was no match for your strength and finesse. Not so fast. Separated by a sea of bodies, you and Cecile whip out a tablet. You see Cecile whip out a tablet. She types in something and Dames clutches his head and he stumbles into Alana's arms. Ugh. Cecile, what are you doing? Don't blink or you'll miss it. It seems what you said about friendship earlier has inspired me, Billy. I told him, well, commanded him to bring you to me, and nobody lets get, gets left behind, right? You hear heavy footsteps behind you and turn to see Damien. What? What's taking you? Billy. Alana. Stop it! Alana cradles his head as he cries out in agony. He holds on to your arm, his nails digging into your skin. What's... what's happening? Ask her. Alana tips her head at Cecile, and Damien's eyes hone in on her tablet, and he frowns. Dame's body begins to tremble as he continues to groan. Guys, why is he hurting like this? Because he's trying to fight it. Slowly, Dame's eyes glaze, no sharp focus, as grip loosens around your arm. Damien curses under his breath. I'm sorry, but we have to leave. Damien draws you back by the elbow, Lon inhales a shaky breath, and wipes a single tear. He's right, Billy. We can't just... We have to go now. Bring them to me. As Damien and Alana try to usher you away, Dame's cold gaze lands on all of you in turn. Yes, Miss Contreras. Who didn't see that one coming? That's sad. Even though I don't really give a shit because it's just a robot and we got the real one back, but I digress. No, it's just kind of sad, though. Now we've lost... We gained Steve! But we gained... <laughs> We lost dames. Are we going to come back for dames? Is this going to be an endless goddamn cycle? Because I refuse to participate. Like I said, illusion of choice. We got Steve back. Aha. Uh -huh. To all of you who paid diamonds. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but it's funny. So with that being said, this, this makes how many giant diamond choices that I was like, yeah, this is illusion. And then like... Lo and behold, it really was. Kind of like, I'm not spending money on excessive uh, love interests, because look at Nathan, now that went in, in uh, the last book, and everyone was like, wow, we spent diamonds for this guy, and we got smacked hard in the face with a 2 by 4 So, 
With that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support yours truly. Remember, guys, that uh, pretty much uh, we stream choices every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. There's a link down below. Also, keep in mind that here in just six days, The Walking Dead final season, episode two, comes out. And then two days after that, the brand new game, Life is Strange, season two. We'll be releasing as well and also we do a lot of other streams as well and tune in for those so until then i will catch you all later peace